Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine going. I just needed to get this filmed. So laundry's going and I'm filming at the same time. So I signed up for a swap in a Facebook group and it is a Easter extravaganza. So we had to do a pocket letter, a tag flip or flip book, a loaded bag or a loaded coffee sleeve, an embellishment box or six clothespins or three shaker pockets or three wands or three banners or eight embellishments. So uh, there was four major things you had to do. I thought maybe I could fit them in this box, but I can't. So I'm just going to move the box over and then I'll take them out one by one and show you. Um, but I still have to decide how I'm actually going to ship it out, whether I wrap everything really well and put it in a large envelope or if I find some kind of a box that I can fit this all in. So give me one second. Uh, the first thing I have for her is just a card. I had bought a box of cards at Hobby Lobby and I thought, I don't buy cards. I don't usually, um, I'm not a professional card maker. Let's put it that way. Um, so I bought a card and um, I thought it was 50 cards and 50 envelopes, but it was just 50 flat sheets. It was, I think it said. So it's just a piece of paper, which I, I had no idea what that meant. And honestly, I didn't even really look at the label when I purchased them because I, like I said, I guess I didn't know there were different ones. I just saw it and thought it was 50 of each. But this turns out really well. So it, you, I just made them like a postcard. So I just decorated the front. Um, the collection that I used for the entire um, embellishment box or the entire, I'm sorry, the entire swap was Hip Hop by Simple Stories. I think that's the name. I'm so bad at remembering names of collections, but um, I'm pretty sure that's the name. If it's not, I'll link it down below um, what it actually is, but it was a Simple Stories collection. So anyway, I um, just took some paper from the collection, layered it, took one of the cut aparts, sewed around it with a zigzag stitch in a gold stitching, um, stuck all that to the front. And like I said, I'm gonna create it kind of just like a postcard. So these were perfect. I, I'm happy with my purchase and um, I'll probably buy them again, honestly. They were 50% off. Um, by the time you watch this, the sale is probably gonna be off, but it was all Paper Studio 50% off. And I had a stamp made recently that's got my information on it. So I just put the stamp on the bottom and then I'll just write her a little note on there and then uh, stick it in the envelope and this will go along with it. So. I thought that that turned out really cute. Um, okay, the first thing I'll show you is the loaded envelope. So I have these pink iridescent bags that I had gotten in the party section at Dollar Tree. And I thought it looked really cute with the collection. Um, I just glued up the sides here of the treat bag, um, put some paper from the collection on the inside here and the front pocket part. Um, I put just, I popped up a piece of cardstock ephemera here, put a little um, word phrases on there. I did a little grommet and I made this little bunny eraser from Dollar Tree into a charm and I attached that there. So in the front pocket, I put that bow that I made from the collection. This is just a layered up bow. It's got tulle on it and it's got a charm hanging down. Um, I did have a couple things in my collection that were a little bit older. So this was, I, I think this was Target Dollar Spot from a few years ago. So it's a bunny, ears, tails, and feet. So I had those two stickers that were cut apart. I have these three-dimensional egg stickers that I had a couple of, and I also used some of those in the pocket letter, you'll see as well. And then I have these kites, not kites, pinwheels that I had gotten at um, Michael's and this is part of their spring collection. So I just kind of have those tucked in there. And then in the back, I have all kinds of goodies here. Um, so for my collection, I have this wooden egg piece that I've had forever. I'm just gonna gift that, maybe she can use it. Some wooden stickers as well. Um, this is some rosettes that I made and I just repurposed some packaging, wrapped some twine around it. I have a video showing how I um, packaged up this and the flowers for this collection and I'll link that up in the iCard here if you're interested in watching it. But just two handmade rosettes. Uh, I put some sequins in there, uh, mounted them on acetate. So that goes in there. 
I gave her some cuddle parts from the collection. I just used some repackaged or repurposed packaging, added some bunny stickers to the front. Didn't want to get too fancy with that since it's all tucked down in here anyway. Oh, everything just fell out. Let's put that back together later. Um, I created some bag toppers for two different sets of stickers that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. These were 50% off um, of Easter when I bought them, maybe 40, 40 or 50. Anyway, they were like $1.50 each. Um, so I love these pretty little girl bunnies with the flowers in their hair. And then these little felt stickers are really cute in the different colors. So again, just used pieces from the collection, used some stickers and some ephemera uh, to create bag toppers. And then I have these two little felt rabbits that are either from Target Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree. And that is from last year, I think. So um, that is the loaded envelope. Next, I will bring out, I have this carrot. This was part of the eggs um, at Dollar Tree. They had these, they had some chicks, they had some bunnies in these really cute kind of designs. So this is just one of the carrots. And in here, now my daughter's gonna take a shower. So if you can hear that, I'm right underneath where the, the bathroom is on the main level. Um, so here I have some cupcake um, toppers and they are little carrot tops and little bunnies. And those were left from a, a few years ago that were in my collection as well. So I'm sharing some of those, hoping she can put those to use. Um, so those fit really cute in the carrot. Um, Okay, next I have a tag flip. And um, on the top, instead of ribbon, I just went with this tool and I just tied four different pieces on there. Um, I have like a glittery aqua and a glitter and um, almost like confetti on the pink. So on here, I have one of the Peeps flavored lip balms. This is from Dollar Tree. Here is a four by six card that I made into a tag. I used some of the cut parts from the collection um, and some ephemera from the collection and just um, popped it up on there. These are from Joann's. This was part of their Easter collection. They're just little puff balls. Um, again, I just kind of created my own bag, bag topper here. Another one of the bunnies. For these, I put a little grommet in the ear so it could um, move nicely on the tag flip. Here are some carrot felt carrots from Dollar Tree. Um, I used one of those cute little bunnies. I have a, a package of my own and I gifted a package. Um, so I used one of the bunnies on there. Here's another four by six um, tag that I cut apart and just cut it into a tag shape. I added one of these homemade flowers that I made popped up a little butterfly there and that says live life in full bloom. This sequins collection is also from Joann's as part of their Easter collection. So I gifted her the entire collection of that. And then I just created my own big tupper there as well. Um, I just basically folded it over the top. I rounded off the corners. I added a little bunny sticker and just another uh, scrap piece from the collection. Here I have another bunny. This one is an aqua glitter one that I also put a grommet in there. Um, this is a little bunny treat bag. These were from Dollar Tree. And I just kind of tied this on here. But inside here are also from the Joann's Easter collection, some tassels. Uh, this was a set of six. I gifted two of them to her in the pocket letter. And then I just cut down the remaining card piece or the, the cardboard piece that they came on and put them in here. And then, like I said, I just kind of tied it onto the, the ring like this. That looks so cute. Love these bags. So I gifted one to her and I kept one for myself. So I got that tied on there. And then here are some three dimensional flowers that I made. I, um, die cut those out with my die cut machine. Um, it is a Sizzix die cut. I layered them up. That's all paper from the collection. Um, the leaves I did with just some basil cardstock that I have. Um, again, I created the uh, bag topper there. And then lastly, these are also 
Joann's? Yeah, I want to say these are Joann's. They're, no, these were Hobby Lobby. I take that back. So these are little dimensional wood bunnies that are little stickers. So I just repackaged the top of that and um, added them to the tape clip. So I love how fun and chunky that is. I love the addition of the tool on there. I think it makes it really fun. So that is all set. Uh, two more things. I have the pocket letter here. So again, using the same collection. Um, kind of show you layer by layer. There's the top layer. I cut apart the word fun. That was all connected. So I cut it apart and made it go across two of the different uh, pockets. Here I popped up a piece of ephemera. Uh, this is one of the stickers in the back there. The middle is a shaker. So I just um, added a couple pieces of the cardstock ephemera or the chipboard ephemera, not chipboard, the just paper ephemera um, in there. So there's a bunny and two eggs and then I added a bunch of sequins and then I took my sewing machine and sewed around all four edges of that. Um, to hide the stitching across the top, which I really didn't have to do. It looked pretty nice. Um, I just added this banner that I popped up on foam tape. Um, this was some carrots in a basket. They were all separate, but I kind of um, put them in there and used dimensional foam to kind of make it look like it was a basket full of carrots. So I think that turned out really cute. So I popped that on the outside. Here I just layered some paper scraps that I had from um, cutting apart the pages and put a little chipboard butterfly down there. Uh, the bottom is a crepe paper rosette that I made. And then this is one of the eggs in the background here. This is part of the ephemera um, pieces. Happy Easter here. There's one of those um, shaker eggs there. And then this is a sticker from the collection as well. So my goodies in the back. Um, here are those two shaker eggs here. Um, I added some bunny stickers here. This is a little felt bunny that I had gotten from AliExpress that's got a little pom-pom on it. These are some playing cards. I had just gifted her five of those uh, egg playing cards. This is the back of the shaker. Here's one of the um, tassels. Here's another tassel. It's another felt bunny. And here are some bunny stickers. So again, all coordinating with the collection. And then the last thing I have is her embellishment box. So I put a piece from the collection on here. Um, just layered up some of the chipboard, another one of the homemade flowers there, the three-dimensional ones. You can get a good look at what it looks like there. Um, you know, some chipboard pieces. I have a little piece of ruffled paper here from the collection that I sewed across. Um, all right, so then if we open it up, all kinds of goodies in here. So here are the rabbits, the erasers from Dollar Tree. I gifted some mini paper clips that I have here. I had, I think these are from Target Dollar Spot. Um, it was back to school either last year or the year before. And um, I thought the rainbows were cute for spring. Um, I cut apart the sticker sheet with the remaining little rabbits on there and gifted her the rest of those. Um, here are some girl game girl green bows that I had gotten off of AliExpress. So I just took some spring colors and put them in there. Here's some more of those bunnies. Aren't those so cute? They're little felt, um, oh, not felt, more, maybe more like a suede kind of feel, a faux suede. They're really soft. And then they have the little pom-pom and a bow. So I have a, like a deeper pink and gray another gray with a deeper pink puff ball, and then um, a light blue with the pink. So I think those are so cute. So between this embellishment box and the pocket letter, she's getting five of those. This is filled with all kinds of acrylic little floral pieces. Um, I was gifted some of these and some are from Hobby Lobby. So that's just filled up with those. Here's some puff balls that I had gotten from AliExpress. They're little tool pom-poms. I love using these as beads. So I'll run a, um, like a head pin through there and then create a loop so I can make a charm out of it. Um, I have a couple different colors here, spring colors again. Here are some rolled flowers in spring colors as well. There's some aquas and purple. There's pink, a couple shades of pink. Uh, here I have some binder clips, some bulldog 
bulldog clips in different spring colors as well. Here are some little tool bows that I made. Um, I love adding these as little embellishments on cards and um, different projects. So a couple different spring colors in there as well. These are really cute. I was gifted some of these and I'm sharing. Uh, I kept some for myself and I'm sharing two. Um, they are like an aqua and a pink in their um, flowers made out of beads and it's just wired together. I think those are so creative and so clever. So I put two of those in there. Um, and this is just a couple different acrylic pieces. So I had gotten these from AliExpress. You can put a little bale on the back and make them into charms if you want to, um, but they're all kinds of sweet, sweet themes. And then I think there's also like a bunny and a white deer in there. There's also these acrylic uh, camera pieces too that match. So I just wanted to fill that up with all kinds of goodies for her. And that is it. So I'm hoping she likes it. This was a really big project for me. I, I really enjoyed working with it. I'm glad that I had the one um, Easter kit to work with and knowing that I could use as much as I needed. I didn't have to save it for any other projects. Um, I was pretty free with all of the embellishments and I have plenty left. I probably will make um, some more cards with it. And um, a lot of the chipboard and ephemera pieces that are left are more um, spring specific and not really Easter specific. So I tried to use as much Easter as I could on this collection because um, I know I'm sure I'll pick up another Easter kit next year. So that's it. If you guys have any questions where I got anything, uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to respond. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.